So all of you please look at the screen here today. And uh, let us do these exercises. So for your grammar, you have gap filling also, you have editing also, you have sentence reordering. So all these you need to do. And uh, yes, so I have another exercise of sentence reordering. We'll be doing that after we have finished this. So all of you please look at the screen and uh, give me the answers. Yes, so read the first passage. Amish, are you going to read out to me? Please read it. Yeah, those who were not present yesterday in the second period, they will be given the answers, right? Because you missed your class yesterday. A doctor dashed the habit of talking to the trees on the roadside as he took his walk in the evening. He would dash to kiss the trees lovingly and whisper kind words to them. This dash, an odd but a beautiful sight. It was indeed a noble act in this wicked world. One day he was very dashed to see one of his trees cut down. The dash lover was so upset that he collapsed on the road. A doctor dash has had with a half. Right, so you are not to give, give, give me the answers, uh, all the answers here, not one by one. That will be there's so many messages here. So just read the passage, write down all the answers, and then send to me, and then we'll discuss it. Yes, a doctor had the habit of talking to the trees on the roadside as he took his walk in the evening. He would dash to kiss the trees lovingly. He would bend, bent, bended, bending. He would bend. Yes, bent. This dash an odd but a beautiful sight. It was indeed a noble act in this wicked world. This is, was, has been put to be. This was an odd but a beautiful sight. It was indeed a noble act in this wicked world. One day he was very amused, upset, eager, jovial. He was very upset. Upset. Jovial means what? What is jovial? Jovial is a very happy person, right? So who is there a very, you know, like, yeah, a happy and uh, enthusiastic person. Amused means amused. Amused means to find it funny and eager, curiosity. So none of these fit here. So it is upset. Naturally, when you see a tree cut down, it is there a very Sad sight. So he was upset. Then one day he was very upset to see one of his trees cut down. The dash lover was so upset that he collapsed on the road. The flower lover, fruit lover, evening lover, nature lover. So he would talk to the garden, uh, sorry, the trees, and he would kiss them. And so he was very fond of them. That means he was a nature lover. Okay. Yes, did you get the answers correct? Yes, it is. You would have got the answers correct a nature lover yes the nature lover was so upset that he collapsed on the road so he was very very upset now the fact is i'm not dash pleased with your performance this year supply a suitable determiner determiners do you remember yes this that these those each every all much more, most, little, a little, fewer, few, the few, all that, less, yeah, either, neither, all these, your more determiners. It's about the quantity here. We have here determining here. The fact is, I am not very pleased, is not correct. Very is a determiner, is it? It's not. So what would be the answer here? How do you measure your pleasure, your happiness? Is it countable or is it uncountable? What do we use before uncountable nouns? Right? So what are we going to use here? So please tell me. So the fact is I am not that pleased with your performance this year. Can you make it more specific? Much pleased with your performances. Much. Okay, right? Yes. Much. Very good. Isha has given the correct answer. 
much quantity right that is what determiners are about how happy are you so i am not much pleased with your performance this year it's a determiner now bread and butter or tasty breakfast so we generally use them as together what could it be bread and butter a tasty breakfast yes bread and butter is a tasty breakfast because we are talking of them together we are right it is not bread and vegetable and uh, right yes so bread and butter is a tasty the following paragraph has not been edited now there is an error write the error along with its correction in the space provided now here look at this please and what you know how to find it when we do editing passages what kind of passages do we have one is of errors and the other is of omissions errors me kya hota hai that in one of the lines there is a word that is incorrect and you have to write the correct word okay now here in this paragraph you will find that there are certain errors what could that error be that error it could be subject verb agreement it could be of tenses it could be of pronouns isn't it right so we have uh, generally these uh, modals and determiners your prepositions so in a way you have to be aware of all your uh, grammar items here to make sure that you do these passages correctly now there is a wrong word in each of the lines and you have to find the wrong word let us find the wrong word and let us write the correct answer okay yes sir yes so we are in addition for providing so in addition for providing let's read it first that is the basic rule read the complete passage and then it is easier because we should know if it is suitable in the next line also right in addition for providing a sweet taste but flavor sugar perform the variety of functions in food products sugar are used as a preservative so in addition for providing a sweet taste in addition to providing a sweet taste yes so we'll write here error four is wrong two is correct okay a sweet taste but flavor a sweet taste and flavor a sweet taste but and yes a sweet taste and so what you're going to do you're going to write the wrong word over here you write the right word over there so a sweet taste and flavor sugar perform the variety of functions sugar yes it is your subject verb agreement sugar performs the variety of functions in food the variety of functions in food a variety of function in food yes correct in food products sugar are used as a preservative sugar is used as a preservative okay so did you get your answer to and performs a is so these are the correct answers did you get them correct how many of you got them correct yes how many of you got them correct did you right now let's come to the next one now what is the next one here it is missing word there's a word missing you have to write the word that comes before it and the word that comes after it now when we do it on the paper here right what are you supposed to do you're supposed to put a slash over there where that word is going to come and yes you write the word before it and you write the word after it so that it makes complete sense to you 
So add social insect. There's a word missing. Please identify the place where the word is missing and put the correct word over there. And social insect, it means that live in large colonies or groups. It can consist millions of ants. There are three kinds of ants a colony, the queen, female workers, and males. Read it once again if you have to. Then find out what is the missing word. Yes. Ants, social insects. Ants, social insects. What is missing? Ants are social insects. It means that live in large colonies. It means that they live in large colonies or groups, isn't it? Yes, it means that they live in large colonies or groups. So what are we going to write over here? What is the word? Ants. What is the word after? Social. What is the missing word? Are. Yes. They live in large colonies. Means that, sorry, that they live. This is how you're going to write. Or groups, it can consist of millions, isn't it? Yes, great. So consist of millions. There are three kinds of ants a colony. There are three kinds of ants in a colony. So, a uh, ants in a colony. So, ants in a, right? The queen, female workers and males. The queen, female workers and What's in the last line, anybody? Okay, I'm, I'm repeating, I'm repeating. Female workers and the males. Okay, yes, all of you who are not uh, there getting it, let's just do it once again. Ants, social insects. Ants are social insects. Yeah, okay, in the first line. So I write ants over here, I write social over there. The missing word is are, okay? It means that live. It means that they live in large colonies or groups. Got it? Yes. They live in large colonies or groups. Next one, it can consist millions. It can consist of millions of ants. It can consist of millions of ants. There are three kinds of ants a colony. There are three kinds of ants in a colony. The queen, female workers, and the males. Did you get it? Yes? Did you get this? Did you write it down? Yes, all of you. Are you writing or not? Amish, Ramnik? And the, this is where you lose marks and then you don't know how to write it in the proper format. Okay? Yes, and uh, this time, yeah, in the test, I am going to share your grammar questions with you all. Right. Now, next one. Okay, this is just a for an informal discussion in the class. Let us see if you can complete this dialogue. How good are you at your conversation skills? Take it as your speaking task only. So who will complete this dialogue for me? Complete the dialogue or the conversation in an appropriate way. 
This is a dialogue between a doctor and a patient, Tanya. Right? So what are they talking about? What are they saying? What is dash? I dash. I can't walk. Yes, what would come here? What would a doctor ask the patient? Yes. Come on, this is a very important skill. We should have a good conversation skills. We should be confident enough to speak. Write down, what is, what is, what will the doctor say to his patient? How are you feeling? What are you doing? What is your problem? Isn't it? Right? So what is the matter? What is the problem? Yes. Yeah, what is your problem? What is the problem? Right, correct. Then, yes, how are you going to reply to the doctor? I dash, I can't walk. I dash, what can come over here? I, yes, and as I said, before you write your answers, it's important to read the dialogues. Read all of them so that what you write makes sense. It links it to the other dialogues itself. Yes. I dash, I can't walk. What could it be? I, yes. Okay, I'm not fine. Yeah, very nice. Yes, I, I sprained my foot. I twisted my foot. I can't walk. Right? Okay, I hurt my foot. I can't walk. I fell down. I can't walk. Right? So I don't know. I can't walk. So you can't see that because you, there must be some pain there. You are there in an extremely uncomfortable position. That is why you have gone to the doctor. Isn't it? So right? Yes. So I hurt my foot and uh, I can't walk. Yes. Dash, do you have the pain? Yes, it is correct. It's correct. Marsha, yeah, so it's correct. I am not fine. I can't walk. But it can be more specific. Tell what has happened to you. You're not fine. You're not fine. You can't walk. Like how? Where are you having a problem that you can't walk? Right? So I, I fell down. I twisted my foot. I hurt my knee. Anything could be there. Right? Yes, let's be a little specific. So where do you have the pain? I slipped this morning and see, here it is now, slipped this morning. So something is there hurting. I slipped this morning and, and twisted my foot, hurt my knee, yeah, hurt my back, anything it could be, right? I will give you dash right now. I will give you, what is the do doctor going to give you? I will give you medicine right now. I will give you painkillers right now. I will give you medicine and ointment right now. Anything. Should I go for an x-ray? Should I go for an x-ray? Yes. Should I go for an x-ray? Yeah, so complete. I, I don't think so, right? So I don't think there is a need right now. Yes. So as a you know patient here, we want our doctor to be more uh, specific, more clear, and tell us what our problem is. Okay. Right. Yes. So can we just go through the dialogues and once again let's see what the conversation would be. Yes. Yeah, so what is the matter? What is the problem? I hurt my foot, I twisted my foot and I can't walk. Where do you have the pain? I slipped this morning and twisted my foot. I will give you medicines and ointment right now. Should I go for an x-ray? I don't think it is required at the moment. Yes, so this would be a dialogue between a doctor and a patient. Clear? Yes? Everyone, so what have we discussed today? One thing very, very important, editing. How to do this editing, right? Gap filling we have discussed and omissions. 
okay so we need to go through all these grammar items these are there important for your examination point of view and yes uh, yesterday we had discussed sentence reordering so you need to practice that also okay yes so these are the things that you need to do these are the things that you need to work hard on as it is you have to put in a lot of hard work because you are on your own you are studying independently right and it is very very important that we get the feedback regarding your studies regarding what you are doing is this clear yes uh, let me uh, show those uh, So this, this is the same one that we have discussed, isn't it? Yes, uh, these were the sentences that we had uh, gone through yesterday. So those who were not uh, present yesterday can just quickly go through them. We have done the answers. We know the answers, but I want you also to practice it. Yes, so this is something very easy and interesting. So uh, I, I think so, yes, the students who were here yesterday, they just came quickly tell us the answers. All if you look at the screen, Amish, can you give me the answer? Ramit, can you give me the answer? Nalil, I'm not getting any response from you. Are you present here? Yes, now look at this, please. Look at it. Yes, come on, quickly give me the answer. First sentence. I want uh, immediate responses here. Read it, tell me. Accept his pupil, Swami Setu, as did not. Yeah, so those who have given me the answers already, they did not. And uh, I, I want the answers from the students who did not respond uh, yesterday. And I want everyone to know the answers here. Sentence reordering. And uh, you know that a little phrase here and there, or the group word of groups here, and uh, you get into a little bit of a Problem. Make meaningful sentences. Come on, do it now. Quickly, send me the answers. Note them down. Yes. Do it, please. So who's going to give me the answers? Let me see who's going to speak today. Jabli, Ananya, Harleen, Harshita, Urvi. All of you, come on. Garf. Vashish was there yesterday. Give me the answers, please. Swami did not accept Setu as his people. So they are together, it will not break them. Okay. He was very young only 14 years old. Am I correct? Give me a response. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Say something. Yes. Next one is easy. But Setu did not lose heart. Last one. He decided to win over the Swami. Fine? Yes, you got them? Now look at these sentences also, right? Let's just go through the other ones also. Love of others, good manners, and win the respect. Yes? Good manners win the love and respect of others. Yes. When best they can, one is be learned young. They can be learned best when one is young. Done. Next one. Read it. And then I will tell you the 
answers. A polite answer saves us from punishment also. Or also saves us from punishment. Either way. Next one. Even a stranger likes a person who is respectful. Or a person likes even a stranger who is respectful. Right? So both ways you can do it. They are a passport they are a sure passport for success in life right so they are a sure passport for success in life